Okay, this is video nine now, and we're going to talk about the material tab later. So let's go to landscape. Um, <clears throat> the landscape tools are for the ground that comes in default with Lumion. I never um, use Lumion's ground as our ground for our model. We always use a topo surface in Revit because it's so much easier to control. For example, this pathway, I never would have been able to create this pathway with Lumion's tools. So we'd create this pathway with subregions in Lumion. And we create this forest ground by doing multiple layers of topo surface and assigning them different materials. Right, so we have our 3D grass poking through the top layers. And then on the top layer, I have um, leaves. Anyways, there's so much more control that we have if we use the topo surface from Revit rather than the landscape tools in Lumion. But I will show you a little bit about what they do. <clears throat> so I did use it on this project. Um, I adjusted the ground to be lower in this section so that we didn't see it. Um, that the height of the ground is adjusted with this. So I'm going to restore it by flattening the landscape. It's going to take a, a minute to process that. So I'm going to pause it. OK. So um, that button flattened out our landscape. It restored it to what it was. So now with these tools, I can either raise or lower the ground, flatten it, jitter it, or smooth it. And this is done with a paintbrush. You can see this yellow circle as I move my mouse. We can increase the size of that paintbrush with this slider and the speed of this tool with this slider. So let's say I want to press this down again so it's out of my way. Um, that's, that's what that tool does. So I hardly ever use these tools. Um, again, it's highly inaccurate, so I try not to use them. Um, there's a water tool, which I do actually use sometimes to place water. So we can place this and drag this out and here we can change the types we can change it to a tropical scene uh, this one just allows me to move it up and down and then we use the nodes here to extend the boundaries and delete it and that's that's the extent of that water tool but there's also a tool to turn on the ocean. Um, <clears throat> I don't use this too often either, but uh, you can change the height of it. So if we need to put an ocean or a lake in our scene, we can we could do it with this method. Um, there's some more settings here that I won't go over. Um, <clears throat> we can paint different materials onto this ground. Let's undo that and make our brush smaller. This is the smallest it will go. Again, it's very imprecise. We can do this. Also, we don't have very high quality textures on the ground, so. That's why I don't hardly ever use this. This, um, so you can see that this one, that actually is putting down 3D grass. And if I uncheck this, then our 3D grass, well, I guess one of these three, one of these four materials has to have 3D grass assigned to it. So I assigned it to this one. Well, Let's assign it to this one and paint it. 